Hello, teacher Jackie here wanted to report on Zebra English student no show. <laughs> I have had to do some cards here. One color is for one company and another color is for another company. And I've had to do notes because they all have different rules on when to log in, when to start class and so on. And it's been challenging. So that's a little tip there but Zebra English. So today was my second day with Zebra English. And right, second, yes, it's my second day with Zebra English. And this is what happened. Late last night, I saw on my phone, a whole bunch of emails coming up saying I'm just getting booked. I was like, yay. And I thought one of them said there was a booking today. I was like, you know, it's fine because I wanna teach at Magic Years first. And then I have a space because I'm going to be realistic about this first week of two new companies. And then we'll go from there. So I woke up, logged into Magic Ears, and was it before Magic Ears or not? I can't remember. I think it was after Magic Ears because I can do my audio feedback. And while I was doing that, for some reason, I opened up a separate window on my other, my laptop is over here, and then I have an external monitor here. And so I popped up and it was like, you have a booking. I was like, wow, is it right away? No, it wasn't. So let me just give you an idea. At five o'clock, I have a 25 minute class with another company. And at 5.30, I didn't have a class because I knew I needed time to do feedback and you know, water or whatever. At six o'clock, I had an opening with Zebra English, 6.30. I had an opening for Zebra English. The six o'clock was not booked. And I know by the rules, they will not book it less than an hour. So I, even though my 24 hour short notice was on, I knew I wasn't gonna get booked. So it was just sitting there six o'clock. I just left it. And the 6.30 was booked. It was booked within 24 hours. So it's short notice. That means extra, extra money. And then I was like, I need to quickly see what this is. So I got it. I took, they don't, you can't print it out, but I took a screenshot and printed out the teacher objectives, the key content, vocabulary. What's so cool, what I love about Zebra English is that they're using an AI app first. This is genius. I totally love this. And it even says areas that need improvements, poor performance, listening, or speaking in this week's AI class. So they take the, um, you know, artificial intelligence, the AI app, they have an app that they use before they go into the one-on-one -on -one practice, which I think is great because you're doing like, if you, you know, Duolingo, you may or may not have heard of that, but you can do Duolingo. You speak into it. You do this whole AI learning language, but then what if you get to come log on and speak to a person in that language and learn it? That would be the best next step, right? I just, Zebra English is genius have vocabulary words. And there's one that's in red, which tells me the one that they had problems with and the sentences that we're looking for the target language. So I log in, I'm prepared. I have my props ready if I need, and you know, my yeses and nos I've been using, <laughs> I need to print some new ones, but you can't really tell when you're doing them really kind of fast. So again, low money and, uh, saving money, saving time. Okay. So I log in students, not there. It says to start class. So I click start class and I'm like this. And I'm like, what do I do? Do I stay here? Everyone's different. I still hadn't learned all these, you know, different things for the company. So I open up a screen and go put it on my laptop over here. And they have an official Facebook group because in Zebra English, you use the app for everything, but it also has for the resources, for the new teacher training, for the booking, for everything is in the app. And I can't open another app. I'm in the app waiting for the student no show. What do I do? I open up the website and it just shows me my application progress. I applied, I did my demo, I passed and did my paperwork and my contract. And that's, that's all it does. I don't know why Zebra English doesn't have um, more. So if you do know and help me. <laughs> so here I am. I have right in front of me here, my Zebra English app. The student is not there. I take a screenshot. I've learned that from the past. 
doesn't seem like you should take one, but you know, evidence, evidence means a lot. So I go to my snipping tool. I'm on the PC. I can do another video on this. If people aren't clear, you can do the print screen thing and all that. If you know, there's some more new apps, but I go to the old school snipping tool, click on it, click and drag my entire screen, even grab my computer's date and timestamp. So we have everything, save it the, the, with the date and things like that. And now maybe Zebra English might have a screenshot app. I know VIP kid does. You can just click screenshot. It saves it, date and time stamps it. It's all pretty awesome, but doesn't grab your computer's date and time stamp. So I did that. I'm like, geez. And then I'm like on the Facebook official. I finally got a proof to it. Facebook official. I go to the search. You know, a lot of us go ahead and ask questions right away. Then we have 10 people asking the same question. Let me just go to the history. So I go into the search on Facebook official zebra english official type in student no show well wonderfully there was all these things of course some are six months old some are even a year old i'm sure the system is pretty much the same they say stay in there it's a trial 15 minutes it's not a trial 25 minutes keep your camera on all that kind of stuff actually um another another platform people turn them off and or cover it and do a thing or have a little icon there but honestly you're supposed to keep it on pretty much all the companies you're supposed to keep it on you can mute yourself, I think. You know, that's kind of nice of you. Someone may talk or you may talk or you may sneeze or something. So I think mute's fine, but you have to remember you're muted. So I stayed there and I was actually for a minute, I did facial exercises. You can laugh at me at that. So sorry, I gotta work on this desk. It just moves too fast and easy. So longer story, shorter. I stayed there the full 25 minutes because as I was reading the comments, I had messaged uh, my referral person, but I'm sure she was teaching too at the time. I said, I'm in a student no show, what do I do? And then I read everything and everything just said, stay, full 25. And then feedback, do you do feedback to feedback or not to feedback? Well, most cases there won't be a feedback option because the system will notice that it's a student no show. Other times it'll notice it. So that's typical with another company I'm with, no big deal. I finished the class no feedback. So yay, I got paid to sit there, full pay, base pay, plus $2 extra for being a short notice, plus $1 extra for just being there on time and timely. So not bad for sitting there reading Facebook and doing facial, uh, uh, facial exercises, Get my cheekbones, right? And then what is it, face yoga or something I call it. <laughs> That is my day two Zebra English. I did also pop in to a Zebra English workshop right after, which was wonderful. Uh, it was live Q and A. It was good to know that I'm not the only teacher having these certain questions or feeling the same experiences with the platform. So it was wonderful. Then after that, I went to a Magic Ears uh, Zoom meeting as well training. So. It's wonderful. So if you're watching this and following my journey, this is day two. This was a long video, sorry, but I hope it helped you know how it was to do a student no show for Zebra English and their other things. Again, the Facebook, the website, the app, what you can and cannot do. I'm happy. It's a good day. Have a good one. Bye-bye.